We're going to take out some of the bigger sagebrush. We're going to drive on back through there. We're going to have to come up with a name for this car. The Traverse. The Family Mobile. Today we're going old school. Hey folks. Moses Woodson here from the High Desert Homestead. You guessed it. We're at the homestead today. We come out here today, we're gonna work on our roadway in. We've gotta be able to bring the truck and camper in. I'll show you right here. That's the roadway up to the, up to our place. And then we've got to be able to drive the truck and camper up through here. So we're gonna take and cave in this bank a little bit. And we're gonna take out some of the bigger sagebrush. We're gonna drive on back through there. The back of the car is loaded. We have 10 concrete block in there and uh, all of our tools. So we're going to get started, get this party on the road. We, we got here kind of late. We left kind of late, but I love getting down here. love getting down here to the property. So we're going to get started. Look at all these beautiful flowers. Indian paintbrush. I'm not sure what that is type of that white flower i'm not sure if it's a morning glory and then this is some type of sage here We, we've cleared out a bunch of sagebrush here. Every time we've come down here, you can see where the car's parked just down by the road. We've had to park there. And this is by no means a road. But with a shovel and pickaxe, we've been tearing out the big sagebrush. We don't want to tear the underneath side of the car off. We've got to get in and out of here with the truck. Get the camper up here. It's pretty rough now. But... I'm gonna go down here and get the car, drive back up here. It's pretty sandy. I mean, you can get down in it pretty quick. But, sorry about the shaky camera, walking in this sand. This car does pretty good, it's all wheel drive, so I'm gonna load these chairs back up. We're gonna go back up there and today, we're gonna have lunch. For the first time we've had lunch out here but never had lunch on our homestead i'm gonna take you over here and show you the me and george worked on we caved this bank in a little bit better right here and we'll pack it we'll drive on it back and forth here 
but kind of made a, a little bit better way in here. It bottomed out the car pretty bad. We're going to have to come up with a name for this car. The Traverse, the Family Mobile, the Homestead Transport. I don't know. But it's our first drive up this up this road to the homestead. We've had to walk it. It's it's a pretty good walk, I will have to say. I'm gonna go pretty fast because I don't want to get stuck in this deep sand. My beautiful wife. Set right there, so we're going to we're going to put our concrete block. So we brought up the concrete block to level up the camper and to get it off the truck. We've got to have so we brought up chin today, and uh, we're going to stash it here under this tree. And it's going to make our car a little bit lighter. I don't know how much these weigh, but... They're heavy. So we're gonna have lunch here. First time having lunch on the homestead. Today we're going old school. So... It'll wash up, but there is boiled potatoes, boiled carrots, Boiled meat, beef, boiled eggs, and chicken. Cold chicken. That's the leftovers that we baked. If you want to save money, you can take and boil some potatoes, boil some meat, take it with you. We also got some bread, and we stopped and got some strawberries this morning. There were two for for two ninety nine. So there's two quarts there uh, for two ninety nine. Pretty good. Oh. We also have snacks in here that we brought, apples and bread, and first one thing or another, got some plates, but if you want to save money, this is the way to do it. We put it on ice, we boil it the night before, and it's really good. This is the way me and Polly kind of grew up, it's the way our families did. They just cooked up a bunch of stuff before we left on a trip, and we ate it on the way, so this is what we're eating for lunch. There's the fam. eating lunch I'm sorry I can't get over it I, I just I'm sorry guys I this is the first time we've eaten on the property we've eaten down at the road because that's as far as we could go but this is the first time we're on the property the first of many meals the bugs are driving them crazy if you see George twitching it's because there's bugs trying to get at his food or at him they've forgotten what it's like to be outside in nature don't like it. <laughs> so how's your food, son? Your cold chicken. It's good. Better than when it first comes out of the oven. I always like cold chicken better. Anna, how about you? Good. How do you like the experience of eating for the first time on the homestead? Not, not great. George is having a fit over here because he can't stand bugs. Mama, what do you think? It's just okay. She's just not into the whole experience yet. To her, it's just eating bug. another food, eating another meal. Lucky you got one bug. I got <laughs> George is having a fit over here. <laughs> calm down, son. Calm down. Just a little field here. 
our property goes on that way another 60 some 80 some feet I think I think I'm standing on the third track right now yeah so we got another two and a half acres over there and uh, this is where we're gonna put the the horses guys excuse me I'm blowing at gnats um, I think this is where all our livestock's gonna be I think it floods in here there is grass it's much grass and there is some stem grass out here too but this is where we're gonna put our you can see that white stake over there that's that's the beginning of the third the third uh, lot and then that white stake over there behind those trees is beginning of the fourth lot so I think we're gonna put our horses in this field here we're gonna clean up some of the brush we're gonna go around that side come up along this ridge this is gonna be our pasture think about putting a barn right back in here right back in these trees here put a barn right here probably start out as a lean-to right back in here and then the house you see them up there working in the trees we're digging a latrine we're gonna come down here we bring the camper we're gonna stay about three or four days we're gonna have some place to for the call of nature but uh, anyway the house goes up on that ridge over there so this would be a good place for the barn be close enough and that ridge keeps going up up there so I think it's be a nice field for the horses it'll go way off in that direction this is where we'll keep them we thin out some of the sagebrush get rid of some of it stuff like that the grass will come back uh, we thin out some of these trees some of the lower line we want to everywhere we're at here we want to take and you can see where <sighs> these uh, trees what they do to the ground with their needles with their bogs so we want to take and we want to trim all these trees up to head level if we can as we go and that's going to open this country up and there's some bunch of dead pinyon we're going to have to clean up um, but we're going to there's one there, one there, but they're all over here. We're gonna use some of these logs for, some of the cedar logs for structures, um, earth, earth type, earth and type structures, hogans um, type structures. But that's our plans. We're slowly but surely figuring it out. Some more Indian paintbrush, some type of flower. Not sure what those are. Do some research on them. They sure are pretty this year. All the water we've been getting. Probably put a water catchment for this area down here uh, for the barn and our livestock. Probably put a water catchment system right up there on top of that hill. And then we can gravity feed down to the bottom, which is kind of what my plans are. A lot of wood to get off this place. There's another dead pinyon. There's another dead cedar right there beside Polly. So we're gonna get back at it, digging this latrine. Polly said there's a nest over here. Let's go up here. Let's see what kind of nest it is. That's a pack rat nest. Yeah. It's a pack rat nest up in the tree. We had a good day down at the homestead the other day. Forgot to end it. We thank y'all for stopping by. We'll see you down the road.